Welcome to Sisterly Sunday's podcast. I'm your host, Shaniqua Inspires, bringing you your dose of motivation and encouragement to get you through the week. Today's podcast is sponsored by Stronger Through Faith Media, helping you get your message to millions. Let's get into this week's message entitled, Redefining my soul. Redefining my soul. So last week's episode, we were talking about he restoreth my soul. And we came from the scripture Psalms 23 verse 1 through 3, where we spoke about the Lord restoring our souls. Now, I don't know about you all, but I was in need. And I'm constantly in need of the Lord restoring my soul. But this week, we're going to talk about redefining my soul. The word redefine means to define again or differently. God is about to show you something different about your soul. Your soul is the spiritual side of you. It's also considered the emotional, the intellectual energy or intensity that someone may have. Think about that thing that you would do even if you didn't get paid for it. That thing that brings you great joy or takes you to that place of peace. That thing that you flow in. Yeah, that's your soul. So, That brings me to our conversation for this week about the Disney movie, Soul. Now, you know, I love Disney movies and I love them because when I watch movies, God does this thing where he just downloads all of these revelations on what I'm seeing. Now, maybe once upon a time ago, if I had watched certain movies as a child, I wouldn't have gained and gathered these types of revelations. I would have just taken it at face value. But oh, what a great thing now to be seasoned, to be aged, to be able to have eyes that can now hear God speak. And yeah, I was definitely getting something during this movie. So the Disney movie Soul Uh, It's actually been out for a while. It came out Christmas 2020 and I didn't get a chance to watch it. I had wanted to watch it, but I didn't get a chance to watch it right when it first came out. So I finally got a chance to catch up on the movie Soul. So Jamie Foxx lends his voice for the main character. His name is Joe Gardner. He is a fifth grade band teacher who appears to be mm, not really living his best life. His passion, however, is jazz music. And his dream is to play in a band, right? In a famous band. How many of you will admit that you feel as though you're not living the life you were called to live. No judgment. That's that's where that struggle comes from, right? You, You know that struggle to get up every morning, to go to work? That's where it's rooted from. And it stems from you feeling like you're not living to your fullest potential. You're not doing the thing that brings you that great joy. It's human nature to seek fulfillment. But we have to learn to kind of find uh, a balance if we can even get to a balance. But we have to be able to seek that fulfillment without the disgruntledness, right? 
or being moody because you don't want to be there. You don't want to do this. So we have to find a better way. Joe felt as though he was living a mundane life. It was the same in and out, day in, day out. It was the same thing. He was teaching music to a bunch of kids who really didn't seem to have passion for band. Except there was one. There's always one. There was this one little girl in Joe's class. And she was very influential in Joe having his revelation about his life. We're going to take a pause right there because I want to get us into this message. But I do want to pause for a message from today's sponsor. Are you enjoying this week's segment of Sisterly Sundays? If so, you can see more of our fabulous hosts on the television show, The Heart of the Matter with Shaniqua Johnson RN. Streaming now on Amazon Fire TV, Roku TV, Apple, Google Play, Chromecast, LG, Samsung, and more. If you have a smartphone or a smart TV, you can watch The Heart of the Matter with Shaniqua Johnson RN. Here's what you do. Come on, get your pen, get your paper. Here are your steps. Go to your favorite streaming platform. Search for Believe in Your Dreams Television Network or Believe Warriors. Download the app. Scroll down until you see the heart of the matter with Shaniqua Johnson RN. Then subscribe and watch. It's that simple. For more information, go to theheartofthemattertv.com. Now, let's dive back into this message. We're about to tap into the revelation that I gained from watching the movie, the Disney movie, soul. So I was saying there was this young girl who was very influential in allowing the main character, Joe Gardner, to get this revelation about his life. Joe gets the opportunity to live out his dream, his passion, and he gets to play in this famous jazz band. The day he gets the gig is also the day he loses his life. That makes me think about you, about your life, about your dream, your passion. What price are you willing to pay to get to that place? That question alone can take us somewhere so far. But in this movie, in this instance, this character gets that thing that he desires. But it appears as though he loses his life at the same time. So Joe falls down this pothole. Now the story truly begins. Oftentimes, it takes us being down. It takes us being down in order to find revelation. So don't despise your, your small beginnings. Don't despise where you are. Don't despise the events and the trauma and the things that you are going through in life. Because it just might be that thing thing that flicks the light switch on to your purpose. So we, we want to be able to identify it and take the good from it. Hopefully death is not going to rob you of your opportunity. But maybe if you're like me, you may, may use the death of someone else. Maybe someone you love, maybe someone you, you follow but you may take their death and allow it to be an eye opener in your own life. 
So Joe is on the other side now. And he's trying everything in his power to get back to the life that he wants live, right? Because now he's about to live his best life. He just secured his dream job playing in this famous band. So he's trying everything that he can to get back there. He links up with another soul. And you've got to watch the movie because they're really these little cute little beings that are just kind of floating around. But Joe is tasked with helping this little creature, this little soul, find its purpose. Oftentimes, helping others can help you find your purpose. So this little soul was actually one of the hardest ones in the bunch. It had gone through so many teachers, so many people he was connected to, but no one could help him find his passion. Or I should call it its passion, right? Joe thought his passion would be enough for this little soul. But it turns out it was living that was all the little soul was seeking. That was it. Sorry if I'm spoiling the movie for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, but I'm serious. Like it's been out for a couple of years now. But the revelation of this movie was so good. It's a great message for all of us. So this little soul, it wasn't jazz music. It wasn't uh, careers. It wasn't all of these other things, but it was the actual act of living that became its passion. It's oftentimes not the destination that should be celebrated, but the journey. You tend to get caught up in what you are not doing or what you're trying to do or uh, what you hope to do that you forget to celebrate and cherish the actual moment. You forget to cherish the doing. But that's where God is going to redefine your soul. So that thing that you once thought was the passion, the driving force, God is going to show you in this season a newness. He's going to redefine it. He's going to deliver it to you in a different way. He's going to run it back, rewind selector, and show it to you again. So God is redefining your soul. You thought your passion was to be a nurse, but your true passion, your true calling is to help others. Now, you can do that in any capacity. Why would you limit yourself to just being a nurse? Now, don't get me wrong because I'm a nurse as well. But I'm going to nurse to the max. I feel like I've taken nursing to a whole next level. And God is continuously allowing me to evolve what it is that he put inside of me. So where it was, I thought that nursing was where it was I was supposed to be. I had to be redefined. I had to have that passion re-examined and re-evaluated. And God flipped it and turned it around where now I'm able to take that driving force, which was helping others, and now be able to apply it anywhere that I go. So I'm able to help people in a larger, in a more... Uh, numerous kind of a way because now it's been remixed. It's been redefined. The books that I write help people in other cities, states, countries, some places that I've never even placed my feet there, but yet my books, the words that God has given me is allowed to go. It's allowed to transport, to travel to those places. When I'm on stage and I'm speaking, I'm able to help people that I probably would never otherwise have met. 
My Sisterly Sundays podcast is being streamed over and over different airways and platforms, and it's allowing me to help people without even being in the same room. That's the power of the redefine, the remix of what you believe your passion is. God is going to redefine your soul. That thing that stimulates you, that thing that ignites that innermost being of your soul. Trust God to reveal, to uncover, to restore and redefine your soul. Don't wait until you get there. Enjoy the process as you go along. So that is my message for you this week. Bask in it. Allow God to redefine your soul. He's already restored it, but now he's going to speak to that area that you've been holding on to, that you felt was your driver. You felt it was the thing you were called to do. But don't be surprised in this season if God does the remix on it and redefines it. So I pray that you all will find a a new, you, you have new eyes to see that passion in a different light that is redefined and it ignites that thing inside of you and you are now able to pursue it with even more passion. As always, there are three things that I need you to do. One, I want you to come on back next week for Sisterly Sunday's podcast. Yes, I've got another message that I want to deliver straight to you. You're going to need to hear it. The second thing, I invite you to get a copy of Sisterly Sundays with Shaniqua, the book. Volume one is in stores now, so you can grab a copy from Amazon or from my website, ShaniquaJohnsonRN.com. And you can have these powerful messages in a book that you can take and you can read with you no matter where you go. And the third thing, I want to invite you to join me on my television show. Yes, I want you to watch me on television on my show, The Heart of the Matter with Shaniqua Johnson RN, where we're keeping these conversations going. I'm having heart-to-heart conversations with my guests, and we are helping you to get through these emotional hurdles and obstacles that tend to rise up unexpectedly. So until then, I want to see you back again on next Sunday. Have a good one, everyone. God bless.